Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We are going to play Tampa Bay versus the Dallas Cowboys. We're calling this uh, Tampa Tuesday. How's that? We're just loading in. It's a good picture of Roger. Today, from Raymond James Stadium in Tampa, Florida. Kiss. This. Is the NFL on EA Sports. And whistle blown. A timeout here is taken, and it's. I thought. By the kicking team. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this right, first quarter. Here we go. Tampa Bay. Greg Zerline now. He'll handle the honors to get us started. And off we go from Tampa. And this will go as a touchback, and they will begin things at the 25. Tampa Bay coming out along with a man who needs no introduction, the great Tom Brady. Well, we've all seen what Tom Brady can do on a football field for a couple of decades now. But how about his most impressive accomplishment? Moving to a different franchise and taking them to a Super Bowl title as well. Not many players can continually stiff on Father Time the way that he has. Four yards the result. So I thought I went in there and second down. Guess I didn't. I got rid of all of the. Uh, I thought I got rid of all of the music. So we'll see. I got a copyright strike on it. Well, not a strike. It's a hit. It's a lot of The coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route. Just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. On first and ten, here's Brady. And a first hook up with his all-pro tight end, Rob Gronkowski. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. Looking downfield for Godwin. And that went a little too high as it's knocked away and incomplete. All right, here we go. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Playing rookie, by the way. This is rookie. To throw is Brady. Escapes the sack. And now a fumble. Brady loses the football. And the Cowboys, Cowboys. have recovered. So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10, just shy of midfield at the 48. He'll throw from the gun. Got an open man, it's Michael Gallup. And he'll go first. down, but not before he inside the 30. Good job, good job. Well, that was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion. For a That's really first, go more. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Well, no slow start here. A couple nice chunk plays back to back. I love the momentum that they're showing here early because they did it both ways, right? Threw the ball first down for a nice chunk of yardage. Came right back and ran the ball. Looks like they've got the defense set back on their heels. Let's see if they can keep this moving. And this one incomplete. Oh, a dangerous throw. Nearly picked off in the end zone, but instead nope. second down. To throw once more on second and ten. Prescott to the goal line, but it's incomplete. Even the greats in this game, and, and he certainly qualifies as one of them. They're going to have trouble if they continue to throw into double coverage. He better be careful. Throwing into too much double coverage might have a couple of them picked off. He's going to be sacked back at the 23 yard line. Not good. Not a good way to start. Goes up how teams are so competitively matched, and you just want to make those plays that give you an advantage. How about right here? The difference between let them score a touchdown versus holding them to a field goal? 
That's absolutely huge with the play he just made. And you know he hated taking the loss there on third down. Zerline's hey, kick is up and through. And the Cowboys are going to jump right. out to a three-nothing lead. In the end, the opening drive, Charles does yield points. Maybe not the touchdown that they wanted, though. Yeah, but bottom line, they wanted to get something out of that drive, and they did that. Three points, they won't turn that down at all. Three points is better than none. And it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. Okay, and last go, time the turnover go. on the fumble, and they were in enemy territory, so that had to be very frustrating. Down on the scoreboard here, can't do it again. You nailed every part of what was frustrating. <laughs> Down on the scoreboard, had a drive going, and pushed it past the 50-yard line, so they felt they were in striking distance. And to come away with nothing, not a good feeling at all, to put it mildly. Now they can't afford to do that again. Yeah, now can they get that bad taste out of their mouth here? On second and 12, Brady, throw right side, caught by O.J. Howard. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. Brady going to throw. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked up by DeMonte Casey. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Cowboy defense has a touchdown. There we go. It goes without saying, but I'm going to say it anyway. That's a ball he would like to have back. And it lands right in the lap of the defender from there. He doesn't have very far to go before he gets to the end zone. And he got there in a hurry. Now Greg Zerline on for the extra point. P.A.T. And after. It's up and good, and that'll increase their lead to 10 zip. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. So an early 10 nothing lead for them now as they kick it away. Taken from about the 12. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. Right, right. Well, time to get another okay. look at this Buccaneer offense. And job one here, Charles, just keep possession of the football. Two drives, two turnovers to this point. You're exactly right, Doctor. Hippocratic oath, first do no harm. And right now, they're harming themselves on offense. I like that. No one is mistaking me for a doctor, though. But thank you, Dr. Davis. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Now Bernard, and he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Now they're staring at a third and eight. That last play backwards a yard. Throwing now is Brady. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. So on now is the Clemson man. We'll Bradley take that. Pinion to punt this one away. It'll be ours. We'll Back take it. Deep CD Lamb. This is fielded at the 27. So a good punt there, but a nice return of 11 yards. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. Second drive forthcoming here for the Dallas Cowboys. They're looking sharp out early to a 10-zip lead and looking for more as they've got it first and 10. Room to run past midfield. Oh, man, and if you could stay there, that would be beautiful. At the 42-yard line. His first carry of their second drive, pretty solid. And, of course, remember back to their first drive, really strong throughout that one. Not only is he getting good blocking up front, but how about his vision to find the holes? And he's seeing things before they even open and hurdling through them. Seven yards, the pick up there. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Meanwhile, Dak's throw there caught by Gallup. Touchdown, Touchdown. Cowboys! Michael Gallup, 34 yards. And the Cowboys, they push out in front further. Zerline now for the PAT. He's got it, and it's 17-0. 
scoring summary. Three play drive. And it culminates in a Dallas touchdown. So an early advantage now to Goodwin. 17 0 our scores. They kick this one away. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. The Buccaneers offense ready to rock and roll again. They find themselves in a good size hole here and a good size hole early on in this game as they come up on first down. There we go. Brady. Give me. Looking for Godwin and he's got him complete. Down. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Well, these guys certainly need something good to go their way because this first quarter has been something of a disaster for them trying to move the ball. But that completion there maybe can get them focused and moving in the right direction. And yeah, they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. That curve's fine. You can almost hear the sigh of relief coming from their sideline and from their point on the field because this has been a tough start for them thus far. A much needed first down there. They've needed something good to happen. Plays like that will continue to help them dig out of this hole. Brady now on first down. Throw right side taken in by Godwin. Not much there, only a yard. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. Excuse me. Brady looking to throw on third and two. Looking for Gronkowski, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Keanu Neal. 20, 10, and he takes this one back into the end zone, and the Cowboy defense has a touchdown. what we just saw that's a great example of a team that was really amped up they put playing so well yet they didn't get over excited okay this one may be over yeah it's just the first half but that lead is swelled to the point where you're wondering if it is over already Zerline good with a PAT, and the route is on here in this first half. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. No run back here, down to a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. The Tampa offense ready to get their drive started. And last time, decent field position through the pick six. Obviously costly. But they can't afford to just bunker in now. All right, they, good field position means go ahead and attack on offense. Try and press the advantage a little bit. They just have to be better with the football on this possession. So the last that didn't bother you too much last time? No, because it's, it's exactly what you're supposed to do. You can't have good field position and not try to take advantage of it. Sometimes the defense makes a good play, too. And a dangerous throw there as that's knocked down and incomplete. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. From the gun, it's Brady. And he finds Gronk. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. Okay, well, we'll let you have that. Normally on third down and short yardage, you're thinking of throwing to your tight end. It's just going to be a simple chain mover. But this time they let him roam down the field. And a nice dart picks up we'll the first down that. and then some. Again, it's Brady. And the Cowboys pressure Not gonna gets give you on that time and not get the sack. Randy Gregory. It'll go as a loss of about eight as he gets in there to drop him. 
Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. You definitely would like to hit on that one because now you've got a third and long showing up and you just know defense is going to be getting after it. They are pinning their ears back and they are coming. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Completing it to the right side, Johnson. And he stopped at the 44. Like it's that also show. a gain of four. And now it's fourth down. Well, we hear so often how tackling has become almost a lost art in the NFL game. But it's so important to tackle well on these receivers, especially in a play like this one. Third down, they gave him the underneath stuff. You got to go up and make the tackle right away. And that hits at the six and carries into the end zone for a touchback. And out now come the Cowboys. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked. But you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. 46 yards on the ground for them so far. Up at the 29 now, they'll head to the line. Second and a yard. On play action, Prescott. Got him deep. Oh, God, that was a hit. That's fine. And he'll be taken down, but not before That's fine. they work it across midfield. Second and short, that's a rundown, so it's definitely a good time to go play action if you're feeling it. And they do so and pick Come up on. the first down. And they run the option here on first and ten. And he's going to get this one down near the 45-yard line. It's all right, it's all right. Only a yard on the keeper, and it'll be second down. It's all right. Here we go, here we go. Here's Prescott. Well, that'll be incomplete. Well, he took a shot as he let that go. And it's going to bring up a third down. So he's seen some good pressure defensively okay. already here in the first quarter. Here's another right, good example. Right. On third down, it's Prescott. And that is incomplete. Oh, he did everything but hold Pay on attention. to it. But a nice play defensively, and now it brings up fourth down. Pay attention. Anger is on to punt, and he gets this one away. And Tampa Bay trots out there now. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trade expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards. And he's taken down. Back in his own seven. Osa Odigizawa picks up his second sack of the afternoon. Now then, after the sack, it'll be interesting to see what they have planned for second and 23. Brady now to throw. In trouble, and the ball's out. It's in the end zone loose. And what else could go wrong at this point? This is going to be a defensive touchdown as they keep piling it on. Now Zerline on and the extra point. And the route is on here in this first half. So Jeez. not only the coffee, not even done with the first the pick up on the other side, the scoop and the score Come. the other way, the fumble return for a touchdown. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. This taken in at the goal line. And we've got a penalty marker down here as he's able to get this only to the 20-yard line. We'll take that. Well, that holding Back him up. set him up with not great field position. Back him up. Back him up. On the penalty. But that field position after the return wasn't terrific. It's not a great starting field position as well. A handoff. Fournette running left. And he's going to lose yardage here back at the 8. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Plays like we just saw there. That's why they're up right now. And the defense, they're doing their job. Yeah, it starts with the guys up front. So when you talk with GMs who are putting together a team, a lot of them say, we're going to build from the inside out. Because if you control the line of scrimmage, oh. you control oh. the rest of the ball oh. game. And that's what we're seeing here. Yeah. They're actually playing in the offense's backfield, not necessarily just playing at the line of scrimmage. 
big play that time on the catch and run. We know he's good at catching the football, but then after the catch, he's got escapability. Not only that, he's got some toughness as well because you know he's coached very hard to make sure he battles through, breaks tackles, and then they finish with, but don't fumble the football. And yeah, boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. An entertaining start to this one. More to come on EA Sports. Wow, that's 16 minutes, 15 minutes. That's Second first quarter. And 10. You're right. On the draw, this is Fournette. They're not ready for this. Brought down just shy of the 45. Five yards, now it's third and five. Working from the gun, it's Brady. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Sometimes it's just not your day. There's another failure right there on third down. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. The punt team on now as Pinion sends this one away. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Cowboys will be backed up to start the drive. They'll have it first right. and ten. About set for this lead. next drive by the Cowboys offense. On first and ten, Prescott. Shifts by at the 15. He's still fighting forward. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Now it's a bootleg with Prescott. Connects here with a tight end, Blake Jarwin. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. Prescott's Good throw going to be caught by Gallup. And he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45-yard line. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. The first down carry by Elliott. And a good pick up there. He gets about six up to midfield. That's right, bro. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown mm, because okay. sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. Give me Schultz. And this is going to lead Schultz. to another first down right as the tackle's middle, made bro. at the Bucks 37. Boy, that completion comes with a high degree of difficulty, especially on the catch. Had to look that one in one-handed, able to do so, and ends up picking up a first down as well. Go, go. A little bit of space there for the first down run. That's, that's going to get him about five yards. And that's a strong pickup right there on first break. down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. On second down, Elliott once more. At first the tackle, still fighting for more. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. A lot to praise on this drive, obviously. I, I know you're seeing what I'm seeing. Those guys up front, they're getting it done. Doesn't matter what play is called, they are handling their business at the line of scrimmage and dominating right now on this drive. That is touchdown. Caught. It's Cooper for the Cowboy touchdown. Two first half touchdown passes now for Dak Prescott. And the this Cowboys is are able to widen quirky, their lead so. here in this first half. And in That's the red funny. zone, I guess this is why you have a guy like that on your roster. Without a doubt, if you have him, you use him because he's a guy who's going to win just about every time. I don't care what the coverage is. It is on Rookie, so, so we may just Eric call this at the half of this. Extend this big lead. Maybe. We'll see. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. Oh, what a horrible kick. They're going to mark we'll that him. where it went out of bounds. We'll so give really him a break. Field position up past the 40-yard line. And that drives coaches insane, doesn't it? When they see that happen, it just, it just doesn't feel right, does it? Plus, we'll you're give giving up break. yardage. <laughs> On first down, Brady. 
Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Johnson. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Tight, tight. Brady now on first down. That's caught by Howard. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. Now that's the kind of big play you'd like to see. This first half, it hasn't gone their way, and they could use a shot in the arm, something to perk them up a bit. And they get one here in the passing game. Throwing on first down is Brady. Oh, my Evans goodness. On the slant. And he's brought down, not but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. That's a... Uh, you can have one touchdown if you want to have it. Have they want to. Three plays, three pass completions. In the blink of an eye, they've got a first and goal. Almost felt like a lightning bolt hit in this game, didn't it? For them to get downfield that quickly. And now first and goal, expect them attack right here on this play. A good pick up there, seven yards. And it's going to be second and goal now. That's all right. It's okay. Now Brady. And he's got Gronkowski. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. No. Rob Gronkowski there to make the grab. And the Bucs are able to get a score back. Extra point up and good by Sucka. And they get a bit of a respite here from what's been an otherwise dreadful first half of football. And following the touchdown now, it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. This is Tony Pollard. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30, up to the 33. We'll take that. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And that last drive, so effective in the passing game, resulting in the touchdown. Maybe not many people were Got focused it. on the trenches. There was good protection Dang there. It. Excellent protection. So now defensively. You've almost got to get down to those starters blocks like you're a sprinter. Get lower than those guys on offense and find a way to roar through them or around them to get into the face of the pass. Easier said than done, though. Way easier said than done. But they've got to try something because right now they're just cutting them to shreds. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. 89 yards rushing That's for him. As he has been tough to stop here this first half. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Prescott from the gun. Oh, shoot. Almost intercepted, but it's incomplete. Well, Not isn't a where I wanted to go anyway. Second down. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Looking to throw. Prescott. And he finds his target. It's Schultz. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches as we just saw him do there because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days, but you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target, and that's how he'll shred a defense. Got his man there complete to Gallup. Seven yards to pick up there. Second down and three. Now Prescott. Go. It's Touchdown. Touchdown. Michael Gallup on the receiving end for That's Matt right. Prescott. We'll give it to everybody. We'll let everybody have a chance. Now he's having a nice little first half here, partner. And it's a first half that leaves us anticipating what can still come. I mean, two touchdowns already here through the second quarter. There could be plenty more before this game is over. Zerline good with a PAT. And the lead will swell by one more. So this drive spans seven plays. And it's capped off for the Cowboys touchdown. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the second half. Tom Brady leads the offense out for their next possession. And he had the touchdown on the last drive, this is also a four for rookie. four. Very, very effective. What does he need to do to translate that forward into this drive? 
not think that what he saw in coverage his last time is exactly what he's going to get again. He's got to play ahead and start, and start thinking to himself, okay, we just did that. What are they going to take away now? What do we go to as a counter and continue to encourage his offensive line to continue to give him time? They were really good on the last oh, drive. Oh, come on. What was that? And he's taken down inside the 30. Oh, that's crazy. Exactly what they needed right there because they needed to use the ground game to take some pressure off because the quarterback's been struggling a little bit. Yeah, he is. That's okay. We like that. Struggle, struggle. Looking middle, it's caught by Gronkowski. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against him a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. Now left side on the swing pass, and he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. They'll contain him to just wow. four, second down. What did we do? And that's all about recognition right there because he's got to go from pass rush mode to pursuit mode, what defensive line coaches like to call retracing. And he's able to retreat and make the tackle for just a short game. Now Brady gets away with one. Lucky could have been intercepted, but it falls to the ground. Should have been The Bucks on third down. They've had their troubles, just one for six. This will be third and six. And Brady going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off by Jordan Lewis. He's at the 50. The 30. 10. And he takes this one back there into the end zone. And the Cowboy defense has a touchdown. So this defense doubling its pleasure there. Remember, they had the fumble return for a score earlier in the game. And now this time, an interception return for another score. Zerline connects on the extra point, and the route is on here in this first half. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. So they throw the pick six, they'll get another shot at it now, as this one's in the air. And he'll just take a seat, and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. Here comes the Tampa Bay offense now heading back out onto the field. And following the pick six, and they had decent field position in throwing that pick six. We'll see how they attack this drive. And I think all you say to your guy is, listen, let's just take care of the football a little bit better. Make some better decisions on this drive, and they'll probably help him a little bit with maybe some really high percentage throws early to let him get settled back yeah, in. But they told him, they told us, they got confidence. That, that's not a problem. Yeah, not a problem at all. They just want to make sure they get things settled down a little bit for their offense and give their defense a little bit of a chance to rest. They have three yards on first down, just one yard there. And there's a completion to the tight end. Who and look at the size of these Who knew that I'd like that this game this much? Six, four, kind six, like five, this. and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players. Somehow came back to football. That's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination. Guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Now Brady. That's complete to his receiver, Gadwin. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half, to about the 39. We remind you that coming up at halftime, Jonathan Coachman will be alongside. He'll have highlights and analysis from Orlando of this first half of action. Brady's throw there complete. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. I think count really is, I guess. They need to hit on a few more plays like this. It's been a difficult first half for them, to say the least. And I do believe if they want to get back in this game, they need to start right now. It's kind of like making adjustments. If you try and wait until the half, it's probably too late. They need to get going right here. That catch good for only a couple. Now Brady again. And that is going to be incomplete as he led him a bit too much. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. And now a fumble. Brady loses the football. And it's picked up by the Cowboys. He's at the 30. 
10. Oh, that's the way and this is going to be brought back for a fumble return touchdown by the Cowboys. <laughs> that's too easy. This first half has been a nightmare for that offense. Defense just dominating them. And when you're picking up the ball, picking up their mistakes, and it's taking it the other way and putting it in the end zone, setting. that's a defense's dream. They're having that type of a game. Everything that can go wrong has gone wrong for this offensive unit. So here's the kickoff now as they'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. And this will be a touchback, so they'll bring it out to the 25. Well, the Bucks going to take over now late in this first half. And with the score where it is, even though I think they'd love to get back to the locker room, they may be forced to try and get something out of this drive. Meanwhile, Brady's throw taken in by Evans here. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. When you're struggling on offense, you're looking for anything possible to get you going. Sometimes you do it like basketball teams that don't normally press. You put a press on, bring people to life, make them move a little bit quicker. Maybe that'll help them as they head towards the half. Brady throw on target to Godwin here. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. Now the Bucks going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. We'll call a timeout. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now as the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half. Let's see, I want to go there. I want one more sack. Here's Brady. Oh, 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 missed him. Finding room to the 20. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. My goodness, they've come out locked in on this drive. Play calling, execution. They are fully in sync. Three straight passes, three first down. They're moving the ball downfield almost at will. This deep. He's going to be sacked. Back at the 23 sack. yard line. It's fine. He can have whatever he wants to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in this first half. Sacks a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Another try after the first down sack. Brady. And now off to the races down the right side. Pass the 20. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Cowboy defense has a touchdown. Maybe we just... That pick six extending this lead even further. And boy, it's been a while since I've seen a team struggle this badly in the first half. I think all they want to do is get to the locker room, try and regroup, and come out to start the third quarter. But if things don't improve fast then, I think the backups get a lot of play in the second half. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And I'll he returns this to the 22. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. And with 10 seconds left, not really enough time to put something together. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. And he'll work this back to right around the line of scrimmage and surrender there. Tackle there by Leighton Van Der Esch. So we've reached halftime here. An abbreviated halftime show as we get rolling to quarter three. The Cowboys will get the football first here, and they have the lead as well as we are underway in quarter three. This fielded right at the goal line. I don't know what was going on there, but the end result, this is going to be a safety. Hmm. Well, uh, <laughs> I'm not totally privy to what went on with their offensive meetings, but Charles, something tells me that one wasn't in the play. Yeah, when we had our production meeting, they didn't exactly <laughs> share that with us. But I'm pretty okay. sure that on the play sheet, the run backwards into your own end zone play was not written down. All right. We'll let him have nine. The 
Tampa offense ready to get their drive started. And they have a mountainous deficit looming in front yeah, of them. Yeah. It was really, Charles, a disaster of a first half. So where do they go from here? Well, first thing they have to remember is that what's done is done, and there's no going back. And now you have to play this drive by drive. Obviously, come back in this spot, pretty unlikely. But you just have to go out and take pride in your work and try and put something together here in the second half. On first and ten, here's Brady. He's got his tight end over the middle, O.J. Howard. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Here's Brady to throw. And he's got this down to the 35. There's a nice pickup right there, and after watching that play, I'm thinking about all the lost opportunities that they've had so far in this game. But right now, just focus on continuing to move the ball the way they did on the last play. Oh, come on. Somebody should have gotten him by now. And he's taken down, trying to do a little too much. About time. Outside of the pocket, and it results in a sack. He had all the time in the room. Buddy. Able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. So now 20 yards to go on second down after the sack. Work to be done. Now Brady. And the oh, pressure the will get to him. He goes down. There's a hole there or something. there is a flag on the play, mm -hmm. but this looks like offense. holding on the offense. Good job. Looks like that. Tristan Warfs, first round pick in 2020. Now they face a second and long following the holding penalty. Here's Bernard. And he's got this one across midfield in the Cowboy territory. Now after the running play, we've got a man down on the field. While the trainers take a look, we'll step aside. And some secondary help here for the defense in the nickel on third and long. To throw, it's Brady. Over the middle, it's complete. Dang it. They get a big amount back, 18 yards, but they're still looking to fourth down now. I don't know how many times, not just in my playing career, but you and I working together, have we ever heard a coach say, you know, I just don't have that play on my call sheet. And that's really what we had here. That was a big hole they were trying to get out of. Yeah, big gain, still a place to go, though. Uh, I'm kind of surprised by that, that they kicked the field goal. I guess you get some we're points, but this deficit in third quarter, I don't know. Yeah, I don't either. Yeah, I'm with you on Give that. Me when you're down that much, kicking a field goal, does it feel a little bit maybe waving the white waving flag the and just want to get that. out of here? Yeah, I, I think you got to go ahead and try and get some bigger points on the board. No substitute, huh? About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went. No adjustments and no good first, by the first. defense to knock the ball away. And this is going to be a Cowboys first down as good running gets him to about the 44. Let's throw him again. So after right. a good run by Zeke, another first and 10. Yeah, another good Come run on. there. He's been that, such a big part of their success here this afternoon. And that last carry, it puts him over 100 yards now for the day. Oh. Running by Zeke, and they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 117 yards for him on the ground now, as he has been terrific here this afternoon. So, first and 10, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. Meanwhile, Prescott's throw pulled in by Lamb. And they'll get That's him good. down after a pickup of eight, second and two. They play fake to Elliott. Now Prescott. Oh. It's incomplete. Took a shot. Couldn't get okay. After the Go incompletion, here now, third and two. Here's Prescott. And he's got it. Hook up with Michael Gallup. 
And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. And they'll get him down right about the 20. Two yards the gain on the keeper, and it's second down. They'll give to Elliott. And at the first. Down here at the 12 yard line. It's a massacre. So this is. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive. Because you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense getting a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. Now Elliot. At the first. Ezekiel Elliott. A 12 yard touchdown run. And the Cowboys continue to pour it on. We still got one quarter left. Zerline good with a PAT. And that will extend this big lead. After the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. Oh, he's going to run a yard oh or two deep. Here comes a return. And the decision wow. to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. All right. Back now comes Tampa Bay. They got to dig down deep. I mean, they need something right now. Really, anything to cling on to. This offense has struggled. Partner, join me in a walk to their locker room at the half, okay? Because I think what we would have oh, seen no. is an offensive coordinator and his and his assistant coaches getting together with all their positions, then coming together as a group, going over adjustments, and then the head coach coming in and just screaming, <laughs> "Wake up! Yeah. Let's get moving, guys!" I'm kind of glad we weren't in there at that time, actually. <laughs> I mean, you think you might have turned it on us too? Yeah. Yeah, but right now, whatever was said hasn't been working. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Throwing is Brady on third down. Getting it out wide here to Bernard. And they will That's rally right. and stop him short of the first down. They get him to the ground at the 26. That one good for only six, and it leaves him with a fourth down. Here's Bradley Pinion now. He's been terrific so far. Averaging over 50 yards of punt so far as this one's away. On the return is Lamb. Mm. And nine yards there on the return following Not good. Not good. And possession will switch. Hands first and ten. Dak and the Cowboys ready for their next possession. He has been consistent, hasn't he? He played well in the first quarter. Good second quarter and now continuing that here in the third. And that's the word that they're always seeking from the guy taking the snaps is consistency. Taking care go, of the ball, go. making sure it gets to the right people. No errors, right? Not turning it Take over. That. And just doing all the right things. That's leadership, and it inspires confidence in the team. Yeah, been a good leadership and a good distributor. And we go like this. Prescott looks and to throw on go. first. Right there. Got him. Looking for Cooper, that's complete. And they'll get him down as he's inside Cooper the 40. Cooper doesn't get much play. We'll give him some more. So Buccaneer play. territory now. It's first and 10 at the 39-yard line. Come on, Prescott come on. Now. Come on. Down the field. Deep for Cooper. Touchdown. Is it's Cooper for the Cowboy touchdown. Got a touchdown. Yeah. Dak Prescott now four touchdown Jeez. passes on the afternoon. And the Cowboys add on. Should be 80. Zerline connects on the extra point, and the lead will swell by one more. So they only needed three plays on that drive, and it culminates in a Dallas touchdown. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. Tampa Bay trots out there now. 
These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm. A lot of times, the punter goes to the side and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. On second down, here's Fournette. Got it. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. To throw is Brady. They'll drop this off for Bernard. And he's able to get this one up to his 30 before he's out of bounds. He did his best to just get four out of that, but not enough. And now fourth down. And the punt team on now as this one's sent away. Lamb to return it. Shifts by him. 21 yards. Well done on That's the return. Right. And the I'll offense take it. will take over with a new set of downs. I have that. About set we'll for this go. next drive by the Cowboys offense. They've That's really right. distanced themselves. They have put the pedal to the metal, I guess, so to speak. So definitely have them in the rear. He's got a man complete. Touchdown, Cowboys. <laughs> Michael Gallup, yeah, 56 so yards. Really and the Cowboys get another third quarter touchdown to add on to that lead. Zerline good with a PAT, and that will extend this big lead. Those are the kind of drives they like on offense, from the coordinator to the quarterback, the line, everybody. One play drive and into the end zone for six. And a mistake, a surprising mistake there in the kicking game as he sends that one out of bounds. So they will accept the penalty and move forward. Brady going to bring the Bucks up with a first and 10 at their own 42. Looking to throw. Brady looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Evans. And he'll be taken down, but That's not fine. before he gets into enemy territory. Brady now on first down. Over the middle, that's taken in by Gronkowski. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Back-to-back -to -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Brady going to throw. And the catch made by Johnson. And they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25-yard line. Back-to-back 11-yard -back gains, and they've got another first down. It's all right, it's all right. We've got time. Time Throwing to... now is Brady. Throw right side, taken in by Gallup. That's good. A gain of six there on first. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. And that throw behind his man, he missed him, incomplete. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. Again, it's Brady. And my goodness, another interception. interception. Picked up by Trayvon Diggs. And the Cowboys are going to have it here at their own nine-yard line. I'm starting to wonder, Charles, if five interceptions, is that the last that we've seen of him? Well, I think that a lot of people hope that's the last they've seen of him in this game, probably including himself. If this were baseball, the manager would have been in the mound already and asked for the ball, and he'd be in there getting a shower. But in football, you might have to go stand on the sideline and watch the rest of it and see if your backup can do any better. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. From the shotgun again to Elliott. And he'll get this one up to about the 39 here. 158 yards rushing for him now as his sensational afternoon continues. And they run the option on second down. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball-controlled football. 
sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. Play fake. Here's Prescott. And that's caught inside the 30. And he'll go down, but not before he gets inside the 30. A big play that time through the air. 30 yards. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Prescott off play action. Oh, Not sure that he one. saw the linebacker there as that's batted nope, down and it. incomplete. It's all right. Second and 10 now as we roll along in the third quarter from Tampa. Prescott. Gonna throw deep for the end zone. Caught it. That Look is at that. Caught. It's Cooper for oh, the we gotta Cowboys watch that. Touchdown. We gotta watch that again. Amari Cooper, 27 yards. And the Cowboys continue to pour it on. He's been a frequent wow. target, and with catches like that, one-handed in the end zone, I'd keep going his way. And he's doing it every which way, isn't he? Two hands, and in this case, we just saw it with one hand. Almost reminds me of a great return of service guy in tennis. No matter how you whack it at it, it comes back at you. In this case, he just envelops it and brings it in. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. They should just let him. Uh, they won't return it. I was going to say, just and let him return it. And he can't field it cleanly. It's loose. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. The Buccaneers getting ready to go as they take the field. And they had a nice little drive going last time. Threw the interception in the red zone. Costly. Bad enough to throw it anywhere, but that drives coaches insane when they're thinking about, hey, we got a shot at points already. We're already in a spot where you're thinking you've got three on the board for sure, and to come away with nothing, that's a really tough one for them to swallow. Yeah, will they make up for it? From the gun, it's Brady. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. Another attempt, another incompletion, and when I look at the scoreboard and where we are in this game, it comes to mind that they have to start getting the ball in the hands of their playmakers. Throw it to the guys that maybe can take a short pass and turn it into a long game or make people miss. And now or here's intercept another it. interception. Picked off by Demonte Casey. Now the return here is stopped at the 35 Oh, we still got one more quarter to go. And they just have to call this. Game. He's having now six interceptions. That was too fun. Absolutely unbelievable, isn't it? Hard to believe we're watching this and have seen it, but it just tells you about the game of football. They give it and it take it away. Yeah, the guys, though, that have thrown six interceptions in a game, the likes of Peyton Manning, Brett Favre, I think Joe Namath, he did it three times. But defensively, you're over there trying to catch your breath and try not to show the offense that you're a little bit fatigued. You're right back out there after the turnover. Now they've got to work towards getting another couple of stops and forcing them into at least a long field goal situation. He's got his man, it's Gallup. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Michael Gallup, 35 yards. And the Cowboys turn that interception into a touchdown. Zerline connects on the extra point. And the lead I think we might just Rumble. call this one. 112. Clean and there, just two plays, the long pass resulting in the touchdown on play number two. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. And this will not be returned. It's a touchback, and they'll begin at the 25. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, it totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Brady. He 
completes it to Evans. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause.